This is a ram's testicle from a three-year-old ram. It has a more salty taste. It's not like red meat, it's more of like a seafood almost. I'll chew a wog like rawhide, and I'll just chew it like gum throughout the day. I think it helps polish my teeth. Ready to prepare a stomach smoothie? You can smell it too. So here's the small intestines, the whole parts, you know, different parts of the intestines. They all go into my smoothie. And I can eat this and feet be fine with it without any fear that the bacteria are going to come out to get me because I actually think that they're beneficial. So I just make it into a smoothie and it just makes it like all creamed together and it's just much more consistent, easier. Like a quick on the go snack. And my girlfriend made me designate a blender because I used to use her blender and it holds that residual stomach smell. Save that for dessert. I believe that the nourishment that are in raw animal foods is far superior because there's certain nutrients that when undergoing the cooking process gets uh, cooked out. I could sit here and chew on this bone for a good 15-20 minutes like a dog. But I'm going to crack it open and get some of the marrow out. Hey, where am I going to sit? Well, let me see. I have four kids and I, I live with my partner. My girlfriend was primarily vegetarian. Here's my skin and rack. And I got a, huh, there's where that knife went. Depending on the size of the animal, a full grown sheep around 175 pounds for, I don't know, about $200. I mean, 200 American dollars, and you can live off of that for about a month. So this compost heap's been going for about five years and it's really rich like I'll, I'll bury whole bones down here kind of like a dog if I feel like I need something to chew on and uh, I don't really eat the meat but I do eat the maggots these maggots are evolved to digest rotten flesh I could probably utilize those digestive enzymes and bacteria to digest my own food but I wouldn't recommend it to just anybody. I hope to eat the raw meat diet for the rest of my life. <laughs> no, I mean, I've invested 10 years in it and, I'm, and now I'm really curious to see, you know, how far I can push it. Say if I could live to be 80 years old, then it would validate a lot of the theories that I have about this diet and how it is. Like a dog. <laughs>